that, but I had to switch my gears or whatever in the industry because I still have a love for the industry, but I was just like, it's just too much for me to try to keep up with, you know, clients and their demands and stuff like that. And I'm a big old softy, y'all. I'm a big old softy, like for real. Like I, when I was doing nails for clients and stuff, yo, I I get ran over and I've cried a few times or whatever. Um, in in the salon, in the chair, I had to go outside and step out. You know what I'm saying? Get a breather or whatever because you know they would you know tear me up from, from you know inspect being inspector gadget or not letting me do my job. You know what I'm saying? Checking me every step of the way. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can I finish the project? project just because I don't do it? Like your last nail tech, you know, saying you want to question me. But as long as the result comes out the same, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But they would be like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, this ain't going to work because above everything, you know what I'm saying? Even if I was making money or not, y'all, my peace, I learned, I had to learn that the hard way, my peace, my love and my joy for what I do and loving what I do and doing what I love means a whole lot more than, than every dollar I could possibly make for real. I would do, I would do this thing for free. I do do a lot of free stuff. I do for free because I, I make a way I make a way to earn my income in other ways. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I do as far as the nail services and stuff like that, baby. Like somebody sit down in front of me and say, girl, can you do something? I'll be like, yeah, girl, I can do something. And that way I'm able, because if they dollars is not attached to uh, me doing something for them, then that means they can't be all demanding and, and, and dictative or whatever over the creative process that I have as a nail tech or whatever so I'm, I'm i love it that way but in the meantime i do have other in, other other sources of income uh related to nail care um and even in some other things or whatever so um i'm not gonna get into that already right now but you guys i just wanted to just come on here my name is sarai again and i just been running my mouth i started off kind of you know talking a, a bunch of um things that really don't matter or whatever but just to make you laugh i hope you laugh i don't care if you laugh at me or with me as long as you're laughing because joy joy the, especially joy of the lord is contagious i tell y'all <laughs> Anyway, y'all, um, I'm also, if you don't, well, of course you wouldn't know anything about me uh, outside of me being in this group because you just met me. But um, I will tell y'all guys, I am a licensed minister. So if you hear a little word come out of me, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it kind of, and it come natural for me to just be uh, so encouraging and and be positive and just um, really thankful of the Lord that, because this is the day that the Lord has made. Psalms 118, 24, let us be glad and rejoice in it oh my goodness <laughs> and that was fresh on my mind because that was the thing for the day when we went live on facebook live from my church page and uh today was my pastor's birthday anyway this is supposed to be uh about y'all and what y'all doing i just wanted to get on here and just say what's up while i was polishing these toes of mine <laughs>